ambiance. <clears throat> See my shirt? I feel like you're too close to me. Yikes. I am ready. I am so ready. <laughs> Hey everybody, CR Media Gal here. Welcome back to my channel. I know I recently showed you my first Halloween haul of the season, even though it's technically getting towards the end of July. I enjoy the cozy seasons. I'm really not a spring or summer person whatsoever. So as far as content goes, I will be showing a lot more fall, Halloween, Christmas, and general winter content on this channel. That's something I tend to do anyway, but going forward, I'm really gonna be focusing on the cozy seasons most of all, because again, the only time of the year I really care about. And um, I will probably do a lot less like spring and summer related content, whether it's fashion videos, lookbooks, and the like. If you've been here a while, that probably won't be much of a surprise to you, but I just figured I'd throw it out there so you guys are aware. But anyway, it's the second to last week of July as I'm filming this. Next week, towards the end of the week, I will be going on vacation. And even though I am technically on a bit of um, a hiatus this summer with my YouTube content, you can go back a couple videos if you want the full explanation. I didn't necessarily want to go almost a full month without providing my subscribers a video of some kind. So since this has really been on my mind, cue my last video, which you can watch up here somewhere. I definitely have fall and Halloween on the brain. I thought I would do a bit of online shopping with you guys. I don't intend to buy anything today, but I just want to look and see what's out there. I have been stalking a lot of the home decor website, but it's been a couple days since I've looked at some of them. So I figured I would take you guys along with me. I hope that kind of content interests some of you. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Andrea, also known as CR Media Gal in the fandom and fan fiction world. I do a lot of different content on this channel including plus size fashion, home decor, lifestyle, fandom. So if any of that interests you at all, please be sure to click the subscribe button down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I'd really appreciate it. Those who thumbs me down, you're still helping my channel, by the way. YouTube doesn't care. They just like the engagement, period. And you can go and follow me on my other social medias. I post a lot more on my Instagram. Let's see what's out there. I am mainly on the hunt this year for Halloween decor, but um, I've already picked up a couple fall related items, so I'll be sure to share them with you in a future video. For the purpose of today's video, I'm mainly going to be looking for Halloween decor. So yeah, let's get started. Why don't we start with at home? I know you can't buy a lot, from their store online anyway. You mainly have to go in store. You have to choose store pickup. Um, and even my local at home, a lot of the Halloween stuff, they've not been allowing you to do opt for store pickup, which stinks because there've been a couple items I've really wanted. I really wanted the cauldron mug. I just wanted one. And I saw that it was finally in store at my local at home. Couldn't get there for another two days, but got there two days later, they'd already been wiped out. And I asked one of the employees and they said that somebody came and took them all. I, I fully understand now when it comes to Halloween decor hunting, why people get so frustrated because the resellers are really ruining it for everybody. But I figure I will get on here anyway and see if maybe any more have come in stock or if there's anything new that it's going to show me. Just a couple weeks ago, my local at home had all of these and they're like completely gone. I don't know why it keeps saying that this one's in stock because I actually looked for it when I was there a couple days ago and I didn't see it anywhere. So I don't know, maybe they're keeping it stocked in the back and they just haven't put it out yet. But this is the only one that I was semi interested in, but like... And I, I do kind of want it, but I I just keep talking myself out of it because I really have nowhere, no use for it, really. Cool. I love that they're potion related. You know, I love Harry Potter. Potions is my favorite subject for obvious reasons. So I, I love the tie-in there, but I've got I've got no reason to buy these. Also, if you're interested in some of these, 
please don't buy them from resellers because that's what's going to keep this going. They're selling these online for like $40, $50 a pop. It's ridiculous. And look, in store they're $12. I'm seeing a lot of this stuff so far before. I'm sorry if you can hear some drilling going on. We have, our neighbors are doing construction on the front of their house and it's right next to my window, so I apologize. I love looking at the wreaths too. I have no reason to buy a wreath. We have a pretty one that I got from, I think from Michaels a couple years ago. So I have no reason to buy another one, but that one's kind of pretty. Uh, I'm not a big fan of flowers for fall, but that is kind of pretty actually. That multicolored leaf one is really pretty too. Okay. Um, this one's cute, this Happy Halloween rug with the cat and the jack-o-lantern the ghost that's cute i actually just bought a rug that i'm going to show in an upcoming video so and it's it's not necessarily halloween so i guess we'll look at one one or two more pages of at home because i'm not really seeing anything new that hasn't been really thoroughly covered by other channels on youtube i do like this stacked mug I, I, again i have not no reason to buy any more coffee mugs I feel like they haven't updated, at least on their website, in a while. I'm gonna have to go in store, and see what I can buy. That's not a bad price for taper candles. I should pick some of those up for $2.99. That's not a bad price. Although I'm sure I could find them cheaper at the dollar store. Mm, yep, not really seeing anything new. Okay, let's move on to Michaels. Um. Again, if you didn't watch my last haul, my Halloween haul, I'm really into vintage looking black cat um, Halloween decor that Michaels has done really the last, I'd say two years. Um, I'm hoping they'll bring a lot of that back. I can't imagine they wouldn't because it seems to be pretty popular. Um, so I have been checking Michaels pretty regularly. Um, just to see when they're going to start getting some of their Halloween stuff in. I was just at my local Michaels maybe three or four days ago and they had some fall stuff but they really did not have any Halloween. So let's see how much new Halloween stuff they put online. It's not going to be much. 450 results. Oh, that's about the same as I was seeing before. And it's mostly this Tiny Treasures uh, collection which I have never bought and I'm holding off on it because I feel like if I start getting into that, I won't be, <laughs> I'll be buying everything then. So I'm going to skip the tiny treasures and let's just look at Halloween decorations. Let's see if there's much of anything. There hasn't been the last couple weeks. Um, a black bat garland a little spider garland that's new to me anyway online I haven't seen that previously but that's not really what I'm going for that's a cute sign you're the hocus to my pocus I do love this happy Halloween sign uh, I've been eyeing that for a bit but I'm not sure if I'll bite the bullet and buy that it is on sale but I'm gonna hold off Try and hold off and be smart about this. <laughs> and not just buy the first Halloween decor I come across because I'm so excited. Anybody else having that problem? Because the struggle is real for me. So far, I'm not seeing much that stands out. Oh, I do want to get some bunting this year. The trick or tree is kind of cute. Pretty standard though. Oh, I like that tree. 150 bucks? What? No, thank you. Moving right along. $638 for a nine foot, oh, that's a nine foot tree. Okay. <laughs> but it's bare. $638? Damn. I know people will be liking their Halloween decor, but that is, I, I can't understand that. Well, there's not much new at, at Michael's either. Check out the Halloween floral and some of these other sections quick, just to see. This hat, this wooden hat, seems to be pretty popular from Ashland. 
I'm, I'm not really feeling it. I do like this twig wreath. And then you could like decorate it however you want to. That's kind of fun. And this welcome sign, I've been eyeing that for a while. It's $9.99, 20% off. Oh, it's glittery. I'm not into the glitter. Comment down below and let me know if you are into Halloween glitter for your decor. If you're into it, you're into it. If you're not, you tend to hate it. I just, I'm, I'm not a fan. Let's try Kirkland's next. I did purchase something autumn related from Kirkland's recently. Um, I do love their decor. They tend to be kind of expensive though. Is it just me though? Or, or does it feel like just in general, seasonal decor has gone up in price? I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it does seem to have gotten more expensive. Okay, let's check out the Halloween first. And then if this video is not getting ridiculously long, I will include some fall stuff too. That ghost pillow so cute love that With the orange pom it looks like pom-poms $20 that's not a bad price actually I love this wooden sign if this goes on sale and in coming months it's still it doesn't like sell out I will be buying this I love this double double toil and trouble fire burning cauldron bubble with a little cauldron on it I love that not for $45 though. If it goes on sale then, yeah, I want it. I want it. It's potion related and it's Halloween. I like this vintage jack-o'-lantern pillow as well. $40, it seems kind of pricey for a pillow. It's cute. And I'm sure it's, you know, it's Kirkland's, it's good quality. These seem to be, I, I feel like I just saw these somewhere else recently. These little resin goats with the huge eyes. I can't decide if I think they're cute though, or if they just weird me out. I don't know, <laughs> but I've seen these somewhere else. So these, these are probably going to be very popular this year. I don't know if I like those or not. $34.99. <laughs> uh, I guess that's, well, that's kind of pricey in my opinion. Oh, I love this Hocus Pocus sign. Oh, it's a metal wall sign. It says spells and elixirs, Hocus Pocus company fine potion shop. Mm, I love that too. Another one that's got my favorite Halloween movie. It's potion related to $20. That's not bad. Oh, I like this simple sign too. There's magic late at night when pumpkins glow by candlelight. Very simple. $40 though. Jeez, I, I don't know. I think that's kind of expensive. Oh, I like this sign too. Oh, that, this would look really cool in a coffee bar area. Broomstick Cafe, today's specials, if you dare. Witch's Brew, Bat Wings, Witch Hair Pasta, Lady Fingers, $22. Damn. Again, that is kind of pricey. I'm gonna keep my eye on that. Hmm, that mat's kind of cute. Spiderweb doormat. Oh, I like this old fashioned font. Just this boo gothic doormat. If you do like a gothic Halloween theme, that would look really cute. Pre-lit tree branch, $114. I, you know, I never thought I would want a Halloween tree and I've been thinking about it more and more, but oh, these prices are making me reconsider. Okay. Black and orange three piece Halloween cones. Those are huge. Oh my gosh, $100. That's insane. Okay, that's gonna. Yeah, I feel like the Halloween decor is really expensive. Uh, I okay. I've seen this pillow before. This Scaredy Cat's Welcome Pillow, but not for forty-five dollars. That's crazy. Otherwise, I'd buy it. Maybe if it was like that um, ghost pillow that's twenty. If that was twenty dollars. I'd be picking that up tomorrow. That's like totally the theme I'm going for. I like this um potions one too similar to that uh wooden sign that i really like i like that pillow yeah it's 40 dollars though i'm gonna wait for some of this stuff to go on sale that potion bottle table runner is adorable i really have no reason to that's cute 25 dollars okay well other than that i'm really not seeing much else that's new uh, I, I, I 
can't rationalize some of these prices. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I'm super cheap. I, I can't, I can't. Oh, I love that art print too. I've seen that before on their website. Again, pricey though. It's 18 by 24, which is a good, decent size. I can't, I can't do it. I haven't checked Joanne's really at all. So, uh, Halloween headquarters. Ooh, what's this? Halloween? We got Halloween? Oh, handmade. So this is like fabric, yeah, costumes, thread, nothing decor related. Okay. Oh, that, <laughs> that Halloween dog is really cute. Okay, so far I'm just seeing fabric, but it's fun. Oh, I love that cat. Jack and Lantern print. That would be so cute as like a skirt or a top. Halloween decor. Ooh, okay. They have some stuff online. So let's see what they got. I'm going to want to look at the fall stuff too, because I haven't looked at any of this yet. Jack-o'-lantern, taper candles. I'm on the hunt for taper candles, but 10 bucks. That's kind of pricey, Joanne. That's not too much. It's a fun pumpkin candles. $20 though. Oh gosh. That's a fun read. That's kind of similar to the one from Michael's only. It's got some bats on it, but that's it. <laughs> Just basically candles in one wreath. Uh, let's check out to see what they have for fall though. Because I am curious. The fact that they had anything Halloween out already is it's a good sign. I bought a lot of fall decor from Julianne's last year. I feel like they, they know me, they get me. Okay, I'm seeing the Halloween stuff in here too those candles but I'm scrolling through this kind of quick I apologize but like I'm not really seeing it's mostly ribbon <laughs> looked at Joann's Kirkland's Michael's at home <sighs> I guess we could check Marshall's and TJ Maxx just to see if they put up any Halloween fall stuff I haven't checked them in probably a week or two Okay, we got a couple things here. Got a Hey Boo mat, very simple. Got a cute witch's hat. Oh, it's a gnome. Never mind, it's not a witch's hat. <laughs> hmm. Although that gnome is kind of cute. With the bat wings, that is kind of cute. Okay, well they have more on here than they did last time I looked. Nothing that's really catching my eye. This Peanuts Halloween throw is cute. That's very cute. <laughs> um, that Martha Stewart ham bowl for $20 is kind of, kind of pretty. Not really my style or what I'm going for, but it's nice. Okay, so not much. They gave us a little tease, but so far not much. We'll check TJ Maxx, see if it's any different. Type in Halloween. See what comes up. Oh, okay. So, kind of going with that Martha Stewart bowl. Here's a hurricane. And hurricane. That you can get to go with it. That's pretty. Again, not my style, but that's interesting. Oh! Get some bats. Get some bats. Ah, and they're glittery. Oh, I'm crying out loud. <laughs> they're oh, they're adhesive too, so they're those kind that you can just stick on your wall. Iron Hands outdoor yard stake. That's kind of fun. We never really do anything outside the house for Halloween, like no outside Halloween decor, but maybe at some point. That's cute. I've seen this garland. I think I saw it on Poshmark. Somebody's trying to sell it for like $35. So try and get this kind of stuff in stores. Again, don't buy it from a reseller. $15 in store versus $35 online plus shipping. Like that's ridiculous. Okay, so here's some a skeleton one for $16.99. Kind of cute. Um, that's an interesting looking pumpkin. Again, not really what I'm going for, but. Oh, here's that bowl again. Okay, so they have it on here as well. 
TJ Maxx has more so far than Marshall's. Oh, and here's more of the Martha Stewart line. Look at that huge bowl for $35. That's, that glass is gorgeous. That's really cool. And looks like that's about it. That's a little bit more than what I was seeing a week or two ago. So exciting, TJ Maxx Marshalls, they're starting to get their stuff in. Anyway, that's going to be it for my little Halloween decor online shopping hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below and let me know of some other websites you think that I should be stocking for Halloween. And if you would like me to do another video like this, um, whether it's for fall or Halloween, by all means, let me know. I would love to engage with you guys down in the comments. So please feel free to leave me some suggestions. When I get back from my vacation. It will be about mid-August that I'll have another video for you and I'm pretty much going to be in full fall and Halloween mode on this channel by then. Definitely have more of this kind of content coming your way so I hope you're excited about that. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe as well and hit that notification bell so that you get alerts on future videos from me. Again, I will be having a lot more fall and Halloween content to come so do be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of that. And be sure to go follow me on my other social medias as well. Come say hi to me. I would love to chat with you guys and get to know you. I hope you're doing well wherever you are and I will see you guys again soon. Bye. Ah, I cut my bangs way too short. <laughs> Hair's getting long. There's a couple pieces in there that are too short, whatever.